Hi guys, welcome back to Kitchen War Gamers and welcome back to my kitchen. So in this video is a bit of an update on um, some of the, the models um, I've been painting and uh, making uh, that I discussed on my last video. Um, basically, I've finished some uh, vehicles off, um, built some, uh, got them painted and a few other things as well. And also the crew of my 88, uh, if you've heard that story, uh, one of them's been missing. However, I found him and he's all in there as well um okay so what we'll do is i'll get hold of the camera and um we'll go through uh, and see what i've uh, completed uh it's just gonna be a quick one this one just to show you where i'm up to and then uh, i want to talk about uh, some ideas uh, i've got coming up um in the future okay let's go down and have a look at these models now okay so first off let's have a look at the 88 and the legendary uh, missing model, which I've lost twice now, is the gunner there sitting in his seat. So he's done, painted and glued in, and uh, hopefully he won't uh, go AWOL anymore. All the rest of the crew are done. Um, sorry about the lighting, it is behind me, so the camera might um, put things in shade a bit. Well, that's all my crew done now, and the 88 uh, for the desert all finished. Let's get around. There you go, a bit more light on them. And I've just noticed, typical, uh, the guys holding the ammunition. I've not painted the ammunition. <laughs> so after this, I'll be doing them and get them all sorted. And uh, yeah, so that's my 88 crew already. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, so next up is my Yag Panthers. Uh, these guys. Uh, I did have the, the green on this one, and I was going to do the same on the other. However, I've done the, uh, I call it the spot camo. I don't know if there's an actual name for it, which is that one there. Try and keep the camera still. So there they are. And again, we'll, I'll probably cut the light out with the cameras, try and get it at that angle. So that's me uh, Yag Panthers done. Uh, these have not actually been in a, any games whatsoever yet. So um, hopefully when I start uh, doing uh, battle reports, which I've got set up, and I said quite a while back, um, I'm going to start doing more battle reports. Um, I, I just wanted to get some stuff finished first, um, some of these, this stuff, uh, which I'll show you next, um, that are for one of the armies I've got. Basically, it's going to be uh, the 12th SS Panzer Div Division, uh, elements of them. Holding a city, holding a city, holding a, a small town, and uh, the British Guards Armoured uh, Division. Uh, they're going to be on the attack to take them out and uh, take the the village. Uh, but they just needed a couple more vehicles, which I've done, and uh, we'll show you them next. Okay, so that's the Jab Panthers. Let's see what's next. Okay, first off is the Humber um, for the uh, Gars Division. Uh, I like this vehicle. Uh, I know people had, um, I've seen people having problems with all the small bits. However, if it was too fiddly, I've, I've just not put them on, and uh, basically you can't tell. Uh, and again, something else out painted is these uh, rolls. Oh, get my fingers out of the way. On the side there, I am going to give them um, a bit more colour as well. Um, just to make them stand out a bit. But, yeah, it's a, a lovely little vehicle. It's a recon vehicle. I thought it'd be like I could use it for a command vehicle or something like that, but um, with the army list as it is, uh, I, I can't at the moment. But, uh, yeah, this will be in play. Um, yeah, a nice little vehicle. I need one of those uh, spinny round things so we can have a look. But, yeah, enjoy building it. Enjoy painting it. Um, basic, like like everything, basic paint standards, uh, just to get them on the tabletop. You can do more detail in them. Um, but, yeah, I, I just do it ready for the tabletop. Okay, let's see what's next for the British. Okay, uh, like I said in the last video, um, I did have two of these universal carriers. Uh, I've built one and, and painted it. I've just got one more to do, uh, which will be next when I get time. It's obviously with work and everything. Um, so this one's all done, ready to go. Now, you probably notice a lack of uh, decals. 
And basically, uh, what I did is I have got them all, and all the tanks that I have built, what I've done is put all the decals together. And yet again, can I find them? Can I heck? <laughs> I did find uh, one sheet um, of uh, allied ones, um, but I made a mistake with uh, getting them out. I was going to put some stars on these. However, uh, instead of soaking them in water, I soaked them in, soaked them in the, um, I just can't remember the name, the, the decal softeners. So trying to get it off the thing, it just wrapped around the brushes and yeah, I'll, I lost them uh, through that uh, wasted and I can't find any more. So, but when I, when I do find them, I'm sure when I'm not looking for them, they'll turn up like everything normally does. Uh, I'll get them on. Uh, but for now, yeah, there we go. The universal carrier. Okay, let's see what's next for the British. Okay, so here we have uh, a British variant of the Sherman, uh, the Sherman 5, I believe, if my memory serves me well. Now, here's one decal I managed to get done on the back. Um, but like I said, um, yeah, I just need to find all the others, and then I can get some more decals on. It's got the 50 caliber on the top. Excuse the scratching, it's just the this mat's a bit, fix everything up. Um, but yeah, that's that done. Um, for the British uh, Armoured uh, Guards Armoured uh, Division. Going around. Okay, um, so let's see what's next. And the next one is for the Americans. Okay, so here we have uh, an airborne uh, machine gun team um, for the Americans. And basically this model... Uh, well, these models, I bought them years ago, and I think it's West Wing, or West Wind. Um, I just can't remember. It's their Berlin or bus range. Now, I did buy a load years ago, not not for any gaming, because, you know, I think it was a time where bolt action was not knocking about. We're going back that long ago. So I just painted them up, and this is the, the way I painted them. Um and basically, it's just put, been put to one side. Uh, however, um, as you know, the the dreaded uh, loft. Uh, when I when we clear the loft out, I did find the box of them, and also uh, I bought some off eBay as well uh, for the Germans. You've probably seen some of them in action, uh, repainted. Um, so, yeah, I might delve into these. The only thing I find with metal figures, obviously, is the the paint soon chips off them. Uh, in game now these have had a, a matte varnish uh, to hopefully um, prevent that but um, yeah machine gun team for the Americans or paratroopers okay one last thing let's see what that is for the Germans okay it's the Pat 40 um, yet again I talked about this on the last video I was going to repaint um, it because uh, I, I wasn't quite happy however what I decided to do rather than repaint it all um, what I did was put a wash on it and then um, highlighted it as well. Just turn it around. Um, so it's give it a bit more um, dark, sort of like, um, you know, it's, it's been out in the field for a while uh, look. And, um, yeah, I quite like it. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. Um, so this is the second of my pack foot. I love uh, pack foot. Um, yeah, they're, they're great. So I've got two um, ready for action now. I'm going to have to get a spinny thing, aren't I? Okay, so um, that's it um, for what I've been working on uh, since the last video. Like I say, I've got one universal carrier left to go, and um, I'll start looking at doing the battle report in Normandy um, with the uh, British Guards uh, Division. Um, up against the um, 12th uh, Waffen SS uh, Hitler Jugen. Um, I've been looking at the rules for the Hitler Jugen, and um, some of it's quite fun. Uh, like, <coughs> uh, just off the top of my head, um, if they fail a order test, they have to charge the closest enemy um, visible to them. So that should be fun. And they're always classed one lower than what they are. So if you've got a veteran, 
um, he is classed as <coughs> a regular, and a regular is classed as a an experienced. So uh, yeah, that should be fun. Um, so look forward to that one. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to start doing it. It's obviously work and split days off. I'll probably film it over a few days. And once that's up, we'll get going. Okay, that's all what I've been working on then. And uh, just see you in a sec for something about uh, ball action coming up. See you soon. Okay, so first off, uh, what I want to do is uh, thank everyone for uh, subscribing and all the likes and all the comments. Always fantastic to read the comments. Um, get back to you if I can. Um, maybe a few days late because of obviously uh, work and everything, but uh, I'll try and get back to all your comments. So thank you very much for them. So the future bit, uh, nothing major. Basically, it's about the Ball Action 3rd Edition coming out and basically what I'll be doing with that. Obviously, I will be getting it. Um, so as soon as I've got the book uh, in my hands, uh, I'm going to obviously pre-order and everything. Um, I'm going to go read through it and then take you along and show you what's in the book as well. And then I'm going to do um, have a look. Maybe I'll do a start a game or just look through, see what changes I can do. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll do that first. I'll look, have a look at uh, some of the changes. And uh, if there's anything like really major, I think it's a few tweaks and things on stuff. Um, but obviously, as we get closer to it, we'll find out a bit more. And obviously, when I've got the book itself. And then the army books, uh, they'll be coming out every quarter. So I'll be getting them as well. And uh, I'll show you through them. And we'll uh, discuss uh, what changes there are and everything. And if it's specific rule changes, I'll do videos separately on them. Um, and put them in my uh, play group under rules uh, for bolt action and uh, just keep you updated as we go along. So it's be like uh, when I first started out talking about bolt action and the rules and everything and showing you how they work. Um, but obviously, they won't be as uh, in depth. This is not much changes. We'll just talk about the changes. Okay, I'll stop waffling on. Thanks very much. Thanks for coming back. And I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, remember to make it paint it and play it. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon. Bye now.